Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Nat G coming at you with a little beacon rush action here in War Robots. We are on the carrier map. Uh, and we're going to go out here and pose the question. Is the angler after the nerf still usable? It's slower. It's got a larger window of vulnerability now because of its uh, adjustment to its, uh, der you know, to its you know, reload time on the electric slide. And it had its physical shield up front tweaked. You know, it had it nerfed. So is this thing still usable? I'm gonna tell you guys, yes. You put the right weapons on here, and I've got a mace, cudgel, and the uh, two of the Siphus, Siphus, I think they're called the the, the light the light was it the light weapons that are the grenade launching, you know, cannons basically. Let's get this out of there. There we go, nice. Uh, you can do some nice work with this still, guys. I mean, 300,000 plus hit points. You still got the availability to do the electric slide. Now, I don't have, on my other angler, I do have the specialty pilot that gives you, you know, a reload of the electric slide after every kill. Now, that would make this way more doable if you have that specialty pilot. Uh, I'm on here, I got the Marcus pilot. So it makes my electric slide last a little longer. And that's what I wanted on this one. That's what I got on this one for brawling. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. You're getting out of here. We do not want a crisis up here. And oh, we got kind of a sniper raven build right here. Let's gotta get him out of here as well. But as you can see, guys, I'm running this fine. And, you know, I run in high master, low champion. I kind of float in and around there. And this build works just fine. So the angler did survive the nerf. Now, if you were counting on running the rust rockets on here, then you might be suffering a bit because you're going to lack firepower. Its fire rate is so slow now that uh, it's just, it's not going to do you any good. You got to have something with a quick reload. The new grenade launchers, of course, uh, shredders and, uh, you know, the puncher. Here, you know, any of the shotgun combos here, this, this works pretty good. But uh, you definitely want something that can give you a lot of firepower, rapid fire and reloads quick. That's what you want. So let's go ahead. We gotta get this guy out of here. He's in, he's in electric slide. Just gotta wait for it. No, 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 no. He wants the belly pound on me, and that ain't gonna happen. Okay, we got. The, we did manage to get the kill there with the electric shift. That works. He was so beat up that really helped. And then I got hammered out. I got needled. Oh well. Nice run there though, guys. Seriously, the angler isn't isn't too shabby. Now let's drop my uh, fried again. You're gonna be fried here in a second, here, you silly emoji. Um, this right here is my new favorite brawler build, guys. I've got the Shy Drone. I've got a, a near maxed out Bernadette uh, Wolf Pilot. I've got the uh, I've got two. I got an MK2 level 12. C, was it Cestus on top? One of the Larrabees on here is MK2 level 12. And the other one is MK2 level five, and I'm leveling that up. But as you can see. This is this brawls, guys, and I got 500 meter range with accuracy. Before I was running the blast charge shotguns on here, at 500 meters you were all over the board. You weren't doing a lot of damage. At 500 meters, I can do some nice work here, and it just oh, it's just it, it, it this is just a fun build, guys. An old bot, new weapons, and of course the shy drone gives me last stand, so I don't need a last stand on here. I can run the immunity amplifier, repair amplifier, and nuclear amplifier. I get all three of the amplifiers and the last stand. That makes us a beast in bot versus bot brawling. When it comes to Titans, of course, you know, the damage mitigation and all that, just it just destroys. It goes right through last stand. So, But in bot versus bot, like we are going toe to toe here with this uh, beastie gift bringer Fenrir, you can see we just, we just pounded them out, destroyed them. Now I was running the unstable conduit on here as my, uh, you know, my active module, but it's so expensive. Even with my module uh, skill on here that reduces cost, it was like 67 or 63 uh, power cells to activate it. Uh, I'm gonna use my advanced healing module because that's like 37, that saves me some. And it does more than enough to get me healed and in the battlefield. I don't need much more than that. So I'm gonna just, that'll stick fine for me right now. And, Maybe on special matches when I really feel feisty, I'll swap them out, but I'm just not going to uh, spend those kind of power cells because they're, they're not cheap either, guys. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and work on this guy right here. Now, I do have, you know, I do have the uh, pulsers on here, the 
these are the uh, sinister the sinister pulsars and they oh i thought i was going to get him uh these are mk2 level six i definitely going to finish leveling these off i really like them on this particular bot it works very i mean it works pretty good guys i mean there's a nice kill right there uh, 600 meter range, I can pick on things, got a good firing rate, locks things down. I mean, it's just, it's a good weapon to go on here. I was running the, you know, the, the uh, siphons or whatever they're called, the light version of the grenade launchers on here, the, or excuse me, the medium, that'd be the Larrabees. And, you know, it, it did good, but honestly, I liked them better on the Fenrir, and this weapon seemed to me be, it's, it's accurate, it does the job. I like it. So this is definitely the build I want to run for this. And no, we got ourselves, we already got rid of a Reaper. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Erebus as well. We don't need a snipe. We don't need another sniper making our lives miserable. Because after all, we are in a stealth and uh, sniper meta right now. So what you need to do is something like this. You need to get up in their craws and you need to get rid of them. Cross the field as quick as possible and remove those snipers from the battlefield. Once you remove the snipers from a team of randos, it kind of takes the wind out of their sails. So that really helps. I'm going to get killed here by that guy. Yep. I was in, seriously, I was in their home spawn point for a good chunk of time there with that. That worked out pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out the Luchador. I need the hookers. I, I need the honor points. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, move down the field. We got the majority of the beacons swinging our way. This is, this is turning out pretty good. Boom. Okay, let's give them a little love down there. Okay, I got this at level 61 now, the Yangli. I think that's probably where I'm going to leave it off. I might, uh, you know, bring up its skills all the way to gold on each one of his skills, but I'm going to be starting to save up for the Nessa pilot, which I think is going to be the next pilot that comes down the pipeline, guys. Uh, and that's for the Rook. And I want to get my Rook back out on the battlefield, but I'm just not going to run it with any pilot. I want the specialty pilot for it. Can I get a shot on him right there? Not quite. Not quite high enough. I should have put the jump module. I can imagine jumping with this and taking a shot in the air. That'd be hilarious. Pop and shot. But yeah, no, that'd be, that'd be just absolutely funny. Okay, let's get find some cover here. I don't need to get hit there. Someone's running spears on there, uh, Capri. Soften them up a little bit. Oh, there he comes. There is the big old rook right there. Slamming his way in. What is that? Cryo, cryo danger, or cyber, cyber danger or something like that. Let's give him a little love. Okay, thank you there. Someone's, hey, someone's using the Nodens, right? Giving a little boost, giving a little love there. That's, we, we like that. Let's go ahead and step around here. Keep moving, keep moving. I want to get the shot on him. Two and one. Run around the corner. Oh, of course, he's going to take off. I can get shot underneath. Oh, ho, ho. I was kind of hoping I could shoot up underneath there and get behind his shield. That would have been pretty good. I tell you, I wish the one skill that was available for this was uh, the Explosive Expert. That would be awesome on this. Oh, no, no, no. If it flies, it dies, guys. We're going to soften him up. He's going to land. I'm going to take two and one. We're going to take one more shot, and he's gone. Boom, Titan Slayer. Goodbye, Aether. And, oh, it's actually, actually kind of tight. You can see our blue bar is pretty short as well. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have this now. That, oh, this is going to be close. This, this might actually be close, guys. Oh, we did. We took we took the win. Outstanding. Let's go take a quick look at the tail of the tapes, and then we will uh, wrap this up for you guys. All right, guys, here we go. A quick tail of the tapes for you. Fun, fun match. No droppers. Everyone was over 3 million points of inflicted damages here, guys. This was a brawl. Uh, you can see myself, I had 6.7 million in inflicted damages and repairs, 8 kills, 6 beacon caps, wow, and shout out to Captain Cupcake on top there, Cupcakes, or excuse me, Captain Pancakes, I said Cupcakes, that's Captain Pancakes up there, uh, 6.58 by 3, shout out to Fried Again from FUXU Clan, uh, 6.75 by 7. Then we had Cyber, Cyborg Ranger. That's what that was. 6.6, 7 by 9. Tampico, 8. 6.6, 4 by 1. I mean, seriously, that's 7 by... Wow, this was just a pounder. Great carrier map, guys. And we did answer the fundamental question, is the angler still usable? Absolutely, it still is. With the right weapons, the right pilot, the right mindset, it can still run on the battlefield. 
All right, guys, time to bail out here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications. That way you know when I'm running it. All right, you guys, stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. I'll catch you on the battlefield.